Hi, this video is a part of data visualization with Python playlist. In this video, I'll explain drawing of area plot using matplotlib. This notebook contains different types of visualization, but in this video, we are interested in area plot using matplotlib. First of all, we load the Canada dataset where we have a uh, no, no, number of countries and for each of the country, uh, we have recorded the immigration to Canada from 1980 to 2013. So first of all, we'll remove all the unnecessary columns and we'll rename a different columns. So the most important one is this country. So we rename this odd name uh, to the country and then, then we'll convert the type of columns to string and then we'll set the index to be country and then we'll find out the total immigration from 1980 to 2013 by summing along first axis. So then finally we get all for each of the country we have immigration from 1980 to 2013 and also the total value of immigration from 1980 to 2013 by adding all of these values together. Okay, once we have also added this total value, then we sort the values and in descending fashion. So in such a way, we find out the top five countries uh, which have from which there are a lot of immigration from 1980 to 2013. So the top five countries whose people have immigrated from 1980 to 2013 are India, China, UK, Philippines and Pakistan. Now, then what we'll do is we'll transpose the data frame in such a way that we want these years to be in the row form and all of these countries to be in the column form. OK, once done, then we will do the data visualization part where we want to, first of all, convert the type of this index. And this is the index country 1980, 81, 82, 83. These are years. So the index uh, should be converted to integer. Once the type is converted to integer, then we will this MPL is basically imported matplotlib as MPL and we are using this style of ggplot. We could use different style. Then we use this plot function of this data frame and this plot function internally is using matplotlib functionality and depending on the kind that kind of plot that we want, uh, different kind of plots gets generated generated using this plot function. Uh, consider we are in, in this video, we are we, we are interested in find in, in generating this area of plot. So we also don't want to stack each of the area plot for each of the country and we want the figure size to be 12 comma 4. So this is the whole figure size. OK, now when we do that, then what happens is this data frame underscore top five contains values for India, China, UK, Philippines and Pakistan. Uh, so internally, this data frame, this plot function of this data frame understand that it has to create separate area plot for each of the column for India, for China, UK, Philippines and Pakistan. So that's why it has generated these five plots together. And we have told as an uh, as a parameter that we don't want to stack these different plots. So this is the fun part. I mean, uh, using the plot function of the data frame, each of the thing is inferred. I mean, each of the column is used to create an area plot separately. And then what we'll do is we'll add simple title to it, the X label and the Y label to it using this PLT. PLT is like importing matplotlib.py plot as PLT. This is again uh, a, a single package. The, the, a matplotlib is a whole package and this pi plot, matplotlib.py plot is a library. Okay, then what we'll do is we will add this uh, legend and we'll say that the font size should be 10. So these are all the legends. So India, China, UK, Philippines and Pakistan. Then finally with the show function, we show this area plot. And we and it is clearly visible that in the 90s, UK was the trending country and uh, there, were lot, there were a lot of immigration from the UK to the Canada. But recently, the immigration from UK is in the decline. And recently, uh, China, Philippines and India are having the most number of immigrants. And Pakistan is also having a lot of number of immigrants. But comparison to China, India and Philippines, uh, Pakistan uh, is uh, still behind maybe because of their population, uh, because India and China uh, are very populous countries. Okay, I hope it makes sense now.